Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for October. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus and I have to tell you that this looks like it's going to be really good. I don't know why. The first card I saw was the Sun. It was the Sun. So this is extreme happiness in your glory. Okay? Bliss. And then I saw the Nine of Cups, which is things looking up. And you know, I don't typically start readings out like this, but whatever is happening, it's bright. There's a bright future here. It's 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 very warm. It's a warm feeling. It's happiness. It's content. It's being right in your glory in some way. I feel as though there could be a wish that is being granted. Okay, if this reading isn't for you, it may be somebody that you're dealing with. You know, maybe you're watching somebody um, transform. I don't know what it is, but there is some sort of happy ending here. Okay, there's like a happy ending. And I think that whatever it is, it's beautiful. Um, it may be the, 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 uh, Oh, what's the, what's the word for it? It's like after the storm is over when the sun comes out, okay? And it is so bright, and it's like it's a rebirth, okay? It's like it's the birth of something new. or Whatever it is, it is, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, so I don't know what it is. It's very bright. Um, we're going to start right here, Libra. Um, wedding <laughs> this situation involves marriage okay so two people are coming together okay and it could it whatever this is it has to do with a wedding it has to do with a marriage you, this could lead to marriage okay um, maybe you've met your your person that you're gonna marry maybe you're gonna meet them this month whatever this is it has to do with marriage you this if this isn't like I, I just want, I don't know why I keep saying this if, if it isn't you it could be two partners that you are watching you could be going to a wedding and meeting somebody I don't know or it could be two people in your family you're 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 happy that they're getting together there's some sort of union okay there's some sort of two people are getting together that are meant to be together put it that way okay and somehow you are involved so let's see what we got here um, Libra, this situation involves marriage. It does. Somebody may be getting proposed to, or they're just meeting. They're meeting the one that they're going to be married to, or they're really going to uh, come together with this person. Maybe they already know them. I don't know. But this is extremely happy. I saw it from the beginning. What do we have for Libra, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe? These two people are meant to be together, put it that way. I don't know where this came from, but I just feel like this could be a mother and a father uniting. Maybe they're going to become parents or it's your parents. I don't know what this is. Co-create. It's reversed. Um, I'm going to read it upright and then we're going to decide how it's supposed to be. Co-create. 40. Creativity, art, inspiration, fruition, and manifestation. You may not consider yourself a creative person, but in fact you are creating your reality every moment of every day via your thoughts feelings, beliefs, intentions, and actions. Yet, you must consider that you do so in partnership with spirit, consciousness, God, or whatever name you call your higher power. You are a spark of this intelligence that works through you, nudging you with inspired thought and intuitive guidance. You are a paintbrush that co-creates a beautiful, unique expression of your own individuality blended with universal spirit. You are a product of divine inspiration and now you're aligned with it to create miracles. When you view your life as art and know you co-create it, only beauty and grace result. Prepare to be amazed. I think this is universally guided and I think I think that this is something that you have manifested. You have called in. There is going in, in the next card 
happens to be soulmates because I happen to, to turn to 41. So I feel as though you are about to um, come together with your soulmate. And I think that the thing is, the reason it came out reverse is because this is universally driven. I think, yes, you manifested it, but this was this part of the plan. This is part of the plan. Um, and this is a, owl is a symbolization, symbolization is of highest intuitive wisdom. It's also a symbolization of death. Okay, so with something ending, something new is beginning. I really feel as though you have created something through visualizations. You may have not have even seen it coming, but whatever is happening is going to make you extremely happy. Um, two people are coming together that are meant to be, whether it's you or somebody that is in your circle. And maybe, you know, I don't know what this is, but... I think that there is something that has been created via yourself in the universe that is coming to fruition. I mean, that is what this says. So, and this does involve marriage. It involves two people coming together that are, are meant to be. They are definitely meant to be. That's how I feel. Um, what do we got for Libra? You probably don't even see it coming. That's another reason why it came out reversed. Ooh, the sun card reversed. Now, this is still a good card, even in reverse. This is happiness. I feel like you don't see it coming. I think you may feel like you're never going to find it. Well, I think you are about to find it. You are about to find it. If you aren't, if you haven't found it already, this is a very, uh, uh, beautiful time for you. Okay. It really is. I think that things, I think that you are about to receive something that you have been wishing for. Um, seven of wands reversed. Now this is a card that, and the hermit, somebody is about to come out of hiding. I think it's the end of loneliness. It is the end of loneliness. You may feel conflicted about this. You may feel like you, you are afraid of this. I don't know why, but you may, you may feel like you, you don't dare. You don't dare to let this happiness come into your life, or you may feel like, um, maybe you feel like you're not even ready for it. I don't know. I think that you are ready for it. I do. Um, this is a card of enlightenment, and this is a card of enlightenment. So we have somebody here that is about to go down a new path, and this has to do with some sort of enlightenment. Um... Happiness is coming. If you have been in a dark place and you have been pushing people away and you have been feeling misjudged and you have been feeling criticized, I think that's over with. Okay, I do think that's over with. I think that, you know, it's time for you to step over the edge and step into some sort of happy period in your life. I think it's time to come out of hiding. I think it's the end of darkness. I think that... You've gained a lot of knowledge through solitude, and I think that time is over. I think it's over. Um, I think that you are headed someplace that is going to be extremely, extremely happy. You may have been lonely for a minute, but I think that loneliness is over. I do. And I think this isn't something that you are going to have to compete for. I think that this happiness that that is coming into your life is, is just going to show up. You're not going to have to... You're not going to have to work for it. It's just going to show up into your life. It's deep, deep fulfillment is coming. If you have been d dissatisfied, I think it's over. I do. If you were to look up the Nine of Cups reverse, things are about to get better. A wish is absolutely about to be fulfilled. Okay? If you are completely single, you are probably going to meet somebody. You're going to meet somebody that you will have probably a deep soul connection to. Um, there, justice reversed. Well, uh, I think that you have been through some unfair situations. You may have been in, been through a, uh, you know, spent through some sort of turbulence. But I think that you are about to receive some sort of justice. You may have been treated unfairly in the past. Things have been unbalanced, but. I, I think it's over. I really, really, really do. I think that things haven't gone in your favor. <laughs> 
but I think the things that didn't go in your favor, but needed, didn't go in your favor because you needed to go through a period of, of introspection. You needed to learn something, right? You need to become consciously aware of who you are. It's like you needed a time out. Um, there's been an injustice. There has been an injustice. But I think things are about to change. Because this is deep fulfillment is coming. It really is. Um, you're not even aware of it though. You're not aware. This is unpredictable. It's not something that you can predict. Okay, it's not. Things happen when they are meant to happen. And I think it's meant to happen. I think that um, you are probably una you may have been unaware or you are unaware that things are something is about to come out of hiding. I think that um, or something is about to come into focus that you didn't see. You are totally unaware of it. Um, it's something that you could not predict. Um, you were being tested in some way. You were being tested. This is a test card, the Knight of Pentacles reversed. There was a delay in you receiving this extreme happiness because you were being tested in some way. Maybe your integrity, your inner integrity, your maybe your self-worth was being tested, your self-value. Maybe you were, <clears throat> you just needed to slow down to figure out who you were and what you wanted. And maybe you needed to become enlightened. That's why there's been some sort of delay in this wish fulfillment and this happiness. Um, mm. King of Swords. I think that you guys may have been in some sort of false contract. Okay, this is a contract and this is a contract. You may have been involved in some sort of false contract and you needed to, you know, take time alone to refocus. I think that this false contract is over. I do. I do. I've Or the, somebody that you were dealing with may have been in a false contract. It could go either way. I feel like there's a false contract that is coming to an end. Somebody has been enlightened. Somebody has seen the light and they're letting go of this false contract and they see it. there's an opportunity for happiness here. There really, really is. I think that um, this isn't something that you are going to have to really compete for. I think this is going to be easy. It's going to, it's not going to be something that you even need to fight for. I feel as though... It's like the decision is already going to be made. It's like it's going to be an easy decision. It's going to be an easy choice. Um, this is a mental prison right here. Somebody has been stuck in some sort of mental prison. But it's like now they're getting the clarity. This is getting the clarity. Seeing, seeing the truth. Seeing the truth about where they have been stuck. And this is enlightenment. So somebody is seeing the truth. And somebody is, is like, they, they get some sort of a thought or new idea and they decide to take action. So I think that we have somebody here that is getting this new thought or they've gotten this epiphany that they need to uh, break out of something that has kept them stuck. So whether this is you or the person that you're dealing with, somebody is, I think there's a false contract that is coming to an end. It's like somebody is breaking free from something that has kept them stuck. It's some sort of mental thing, mental prison. They receive the clarity and they decide to, it's like break free. Because see, this guy is tied, but this is reverse. They decide to sever ties with something. I feel like there's something that is about to change for you that you could not predict. You didn't predict, you can't predict it with the high priestess reversed. I think that somebody has been through a repression of some sort, but I think it's over. It's the end of darkness, like I said. Um, this is holding on to something. Holding on to stability. Hiding. It's funny that I've mentioned coming out of hiding multiple times. Somebody has been in a state of suspension, resisting change, holding on to a, some sort of stance, trying to prove a point. Both of these cards are about proving a point. 
but I, I really feel like it's over. I do. I feel like somebody is getting a new perspective. It's like they see the light. This has been unhappy. There's been no growth for a long time. And I, I really feel like this period of stagnation is over. This person has been trapped in their mind, trapped in their thoughts for a long time. But they're receiving some sort of clarity. And they realize there's probably some sort of unfinished business. There's no closure. It feels as though... There's lack of finality here and, and perhaps somebody is unable to find any or focus on any other relationship until they finish this. You could be dealing with a Taurus, you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but it's like somebody, it's, just, it's like somebody goes through some sort of awakening and... They need to. They need to do something. They have been delaying. There's been a lack of closure. There has been. There's been a lack of closure. There's been no closure, and it's like there's. They may have been in a relationship where it just there was no real love there, and now they've received some sort of divine message, or they've received some sort of guidance that tells them that they. need to break free of the false contract so whether it's you or the person that you're thinking about i feel like there's a false contract that is coming to an end somebody sees an opportunity for wish fulfillment because this is an opportunity for wish fulfillment um this is a commitment this is a marriage as well somebody may decide you know that they want to marry you, I don't know, or they want to go back to the one that they were married to. You know, I, I don't like to give messages like this, but it is, you know, and I have to do, I have to say whatever I say. But, you know, I feel like we have somebody here that has been trying to prove a point. They've been in a state of suspension. They've been resisting change, but it's like now they get some sort of enlightenment. There's a lot of enlightenment cards here. It's like they get some sort of epiphany. They get some sort of message or clarity or guidance divine guidance maybe even from a higher power that says you know it's time to go unite with the one that you love so whether this is somebody you know now or somebody you knew in the past there's a union here that i believe that is coming together that is meant to be whether it's you or it's somebody in your circle there's two people coming together that are meant to be and that is what i see so that is what i have for october i think that you are probably going to uh get some sort of closure that has been lacking for some time there's been a delaying closure whether this leads to you know it leads it does lead to two people coming together okay whether it's you and this other person or there's an end of a contract here that is bringing two people together and these people are probably going to end up getting married or they've been married before whatever the case is there's some sort of reunion and that is what I see I, and that's what I see and I don't I don't care what the cards say that is what I feel that is what I see good luck